All right, so here's what I'm going to use to replace my uh, current clutch linkage situation because there's like a plastic piece in there and those usually break and people just go ahead and replace the plastic piece. But I'm going to go ahead and fix it with this swivel. And we're going to see if we can make it permanent fix and never worry about the clutch pedal again. just drop to the ground actually let's keep going i'm not going to use my clutch i'm just going to shift gears without using my clutch it just dropped uh to the ground and i'm driving with matthew and matthew's recording <laughs> matthew is this fun mm -hmm. yeah yeah okay so what happened is uh the rod disconnected from the clutch pedal and now my clutch just dropped to the ground uh, i was able to kind of reconnect it on the previous stop I just gotta find some zip ties and just kind of zip tie it together so it doesn't slide out of the the pin. But right now, there's not gonna be any stoplights, any stop signs, so I'm gonna basically drive without a clutch for now. Right, Matthew? You ready? Yeah. Whoa. And then hopefully I can find some zip ties. Just like this guy slowing down. Matthew, you see that car in the video? Yeah. Basically, I'm just slowing down with the clutch. I mean, with the clutch, with the with downshifting. Oh no! Okay, now we got yellow. Oh boy, I might have to pull over because I can't start. Okay, I'll pull over in here. Okay, let's see here. Papa, I wonder why no one's helping you. Why would they help me? Because there's lots of cars here that stop a little. Uh, well, they don't know what the problem is. They can't fix it. They don't know. They don't even know what the clutch truck is. All right, so it's gonna pop out again, I'm sure, in the in the minute here. Uh oh, I think I, I felt it. Ah, oh, here we go again, again. <laughs> uh, I'll pull over in a minute. See if I can find something that can kind of just hold it in place for now. Until I get home, I'll get some zip ties. Tie Papa, that down. Maybe you could use tape if you have tape in here. Well, basically right now I am I'm gonna go ahead and get some zip ties and tie that up the best I can. That's what my fix looks like right now, right there. Zip tie, wire, and that's holding that pin in place right here since i'm going to be pulling on the dash anyway so i'll show you guys a better look of exactly what i'm going to do with the linkage and i'm going to get that fixed uh and uh never have a clutch problem ever again all right so here's the clutch lever with the dash out uh and basically what i was doing when i was pressing the clutch in and out and then would go ahead and pop right off like that and they just snap off and the clutch would pretty much drop all the way uh, to the floor like that so i had to pull the clutch back slide this on kind of well anyways you guys get the idea and then i had to zip tie it to make sure it stays on like that and then basically keep doing it keep doing it pop off and do the same thing uh so what i'm gonna do right now is i'm gonna let's pop this off uh what i need to do is get this lever out and I believe this thing, I think I have to slide this bracket off. There's like a little pin right there. It's a little easier with two hands. There we go. So this slides out this way forward. And then this, there's like a spring thing in there. It's a little rusty, so I'm probably going to have to clean this up. But there's a spring in there and that spring goes on this little groove right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this guy out and then we're going to cut it right here somewhere and weld in the new piece. Oh, and actually we're going to have to remove this thing as well. And we're going to have to grind this down 
hit this out, put a new bolt in here. Whoa, there it is. <laughs> it flew away. Matthew's over here with us. Hey, Matthew. You having fun? Yes. Is this the funnest thing you've ever done? No. No? <laughs> Come on. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. <laughs> it went on the, rolled on my back. Let's slide this out. There's a plastic washer. Okay. Like that. I can get to it. Yeah, I know you can. But can, but can I? Could I do it? <laughs> this? Yeah. Yeah, just like that. There's like a little metal ring. But I can't get it out. Uh, no. These parts, these parts might help. So hey. Okay. Bye. See you later. We we did some more research, and the way to remove this rod basically it snaps inside with a little plastic retainer inside and the only way to really get to the retainer on the inside is get a little ballpoint um, pen and we cut it make it into a little tube and then we slice it in half and now so what we're gonna do is gonna put this on here and slide it inside and that's gonna release the little a uh, little clip on the inside and then we'll be able to pull this out Separate it and then while separating it, put it up. Yep, let's do it like kind of like that. Let's see if that slides on there. Oh, yeah, yep, there you go. Okay, so now we slide it off the flyers, slide it in there, like so. And that should let's see. Okay, so that goes inside. And that should be let's see. Slide it in there. Come on. Okay. Slide it with the pliers, maybe. Inside. Uh, nope. Okay, that's not gonna work. Let's try. Let's try to put the. Let's try to put the clutch pedal back on and see if that works. We can. We can maybe have more leverage that way. Right, so we got the clutch pedal in. Snap that in here like that. And then we're gonna put this on here. Okay, so I'm gonna try to kind of press it with, press and slide basically. Let's see, we got it. I think we got it. Did we get it? I think we got it. I think we got it. Okay. Yep, we did. And there we go. We don't need this anymore. And that's what we got. Basically, little retainer clip on the inside snaps in and holds this in place. If I was to like yank this, and you know, I probably would have broken uh, the little little clip on the inside. Here's the original one next to this uh, swivel bushing rod extension thingy. I'll have the link down below in the description. It's pretty cheap. It was like twelve or fifteen dollars. Uh, so basically, what I end up doing is lining this up. Uh, as center as possible uh, to the factory one. I put a washer in there so it's not angled. And then I lined this up like that. And then I went ahead and drew a line right there where the edge is. And then I measured the hole on the inside with that same pen that I cut uh, to disengage the clip right here. And then I got the distance from there. That's where I need to cut right there. I went ahead and drew the original one so I get the exact distance that I need. So yeah, I'm gonna try to make it exactly as possible. I'm gonna cut it right here, and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, grind the edge a little bit here and see if it fits in there. And then see if I can just use this little bolt right here to tighten it down, or if I'll need to weld outside the edge here. <laughs>
little bit so it fits a little better. And now I went ahead, when I put it in there, I marked the spot, drilled a little, little groove in there. So we got this little guy. It's gonna go in there, squish it in there. And it's not gonna go anywhere, like so. Okay, like that. I'm gonna put a thread locker on here and then I'm gonna put thre thread locker on this bolt as well that's gonna go into the pedal. What some guys do is they put this in here like that uh, and then they put this swivel on here and to show you what's gonna happen is once you tighten it it's gonna go all the way to the edge and then the edge is gonna jam behind here so when you're actually pressing the pedal is going to snap the rod and I've seen somebody on YouTube actually do this and not grind down um, the swivel and then this thing broke so I had to re-weld it over here but to prevent that what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a washer here like that put this on there like this so now when it's tightened there's still room there's still a small gap right there there's still gonna be some room once this is tightened and it's not gonna seize behind the pedal and it's not gonna break it. So that's the one thing that some guys that see don't do this, they just bolt it down straight to the pedal and they're gonna have problems. So I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna do the lock washer and I'm gonna do thread locker on here. Tighten this down, there's a swivel, it's not gonna go anywhere, it's gonna be perfect. And I'm gonna install this back in the truck. Got everything installed, uh, put back together, and it's working pretty good. No issues, no binding. I mean, it's you know it's a pretty close fit. So if you're gonna do uh, one of these upgrades, do a washer right here, or grind the edge, a little uh, rod right here on the edge, and that will give you more clearance. That way, it's not gonna seize up right here and break the the rod when you're trying to press the clutch pedal and she's good to go is this possible to do it with the dash in possibly maybe there's going to be a lot of cussing and i would i wouldn't suggest it uh, i think it'd be it's it's actually a lot easier and less stressful if you just go ahead and pop the dash off it's not that bad there's like five or six plugs uh, a few bolts and she comes right out just need a little bit of help but i had to do the mod and I was doing the dash swap anyways, so I went ahead and, you know, did it while the dash was out. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it will help you out in the future. If you got any questions, let me know in the comments. Subscribe. 
and we'll see you in the next one.